Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial guys. In this one, I'm in Premiere Pro 2020. I'm going to show you how to create your own motion graphics templates. You can reuse these templates. You can save them to your folder and save them to your drive so that people that, you know, if you're working on a brand or you're in a, you've got your own YouTube channel, you don't want to keep creating the same damn assets over and over again. We're going to solve that problem right now. I'm going to show you how to do it. First step here is I've got some footage. This is just stock footage that I downloaded off of Pexels. They've got a whole video section of free footage so that you guys can follow along if you want. And here we go. So I'm going to left click on the video that I've got here in my project panel. I'm going to drop it onto the timeline and that creates a sequence. So here we go. If you probably already know that, but I'm just calling it out as I go. So here we go. We've got these uh, people drinking beers around a campfire as they do. All good. The next step is you'll notice here that I am in the editing workspace. We want to go to the graphics workspace. So I'm going to left click on graphics. And under the graphics workspace, I've actually made some changes. You'll see here that yours will probably look like this now that I've got it. And it, anyways, it, I'm just drawing your attention here to this toolbar. This is where we're going to make some magic happen. Now, it's defaults usually to the selection tool, but that's not what we want. We want to create a motion graphic. So I'm going to show you a quick way to do it with text, and then I could even show you a way to do it with like shape tools. So let's start with text, and I'm going to left click on the type tool. And then I'm going to left click on the monitor here and I'm going to put something in here. So I'm going to call this campfire. Okay. And then you'll notice here that I've got a whole bunch of options pop open under the essential graphics panel, which is what we want. Now I've got a very weird, uh, font selected. Mine's called fire night, but you know what? This is a campfire. So that makes sense, but let's go quickly through what we've got here. So when you open up the essential graphics, and if you don't see that you can go to window, and then make sure there's a check mark beside essential graphics if you don't see what I'm seeing, just in case. So you'll see here we've got uh, we've got you know some basic stuff. We're pinning it to the video. That doesn't really matter. What does matter is the text, the font here. These matter. You can go ahead and change the fill. Like right now, I've got it set to white. But if we wanted this to be blue, I would set it to blue. And well, no, I would have to do it the right way. I have to double click on it. Sorry guys. Set it to blue. How about that blue? What do you think? No, probably doesn't work. Anyways, command or control Z to undo there. So you can set the fill. You can set the stroke. So let's see here. Uh, do I want to have a stroke on this? Yes. So I'm going to left click on stroke. And then at the edge of the stroke, I'm going to have like a bright red, like a fiery red. And OK, and that'll be around it. Now I've got everything selected. You can change the width of the stroke. So I'm going to actually increase it quite a bit just so you guys can see what I'm doing. And then I got a left click off of this. And there we go. We've got campfire. Okay. So we've got a really cool looking campfire thingy dingy. Um, you can also add a background if you guys want. So if I do that, this becomes more of a lower third. And again, you could change the size of the background to huge or to like very small, but I'm going to take the background off. That's not really the point of this video. I just want to show you what's available. We've got something that says campfire. Now we want to make it motion graphics. Let's get this bad boy into motion. This is what we're here to do. Okay. So I'm at the beginning. The playhead is at the beginning and that's where I want to start the motion. Now into the end of the essential graphics, you're going to see this here. You see this little toggle with four arrows. This is a animation toggle. This is kind of new and I didn't actually know about this until recently. So normally you would be over here animating in these effect controls and then you'd animate over here, but in essential graphics, no, not necessary. Left click on, an, on toggle animation for position. And then in this one, I'm just going to go to the end. So I just held down shift and go to the end and then I hit left arrow back one so that it's uh, still, I still have it. <laughs> And then I'm going to go ahead and take this off the screen. So it's going to basically say campfire. It's going to start there and it's going to go across the screen. That's our animation. That's the technique. Very simple. So I'll just hit play in a second here and bang, right? Okay. So this is a motion graphic, right? And let's say that we want to keep that. We like the style. We like the font. We don't want to have to keep redoing that. That's where the magic comes in. Left click on, or pardon me, left click. Yes. On the, um, on the, on the text or on the, for me, it's an FX campfire. It says FX campfire. Left click on that bad boy. Now that it's selected, right click on it, go down and then say export as motion graphics template. This is where the magic is made. 
And then here we got a few options. I'm gonna call this one 1-1. One, one. And the reason why is because under the Essential Graphics panel, when you browse, it browses by number and then letter. So I want this at the top, because I've got like 100 of these freaking things. So I'm gonna create 1-1. One, one. I'm gonna save it to the local templates folder. However, I will note that you can also save this to libraries. So if you have a library, and I don't know where mine is, somewhere in there. Um, let's see, these are all my library. You can also save it to your library as well. But I'm gonna save it to the, my local drive. And then these here don't really, really matter. Um, I'm going to include the video thumbnail so that you can actually see what it looks like when you hover over it. I will show that to you in a second. And I'm just gonna left click on okay, so here we go. Export to motion graphics template. Now, this is where it gets good. So I'm just gonna, uh, I'm not gonna delete it. I'm gonna go back to my essential graphics here and now I'm gonna go from edit to browse. And when I look at the top, check it out, here it is. And when I hover the mouse over it from left to right, you'll see that it is now saved. So I can reuse this. If I started a new project, it's ready to go. I can drag this and drop this on any footage. So if I deleted that and I go back to browse, doesn't matter, it's now saved. I can put it at the end and then hit spacebar. And then in a few seconds, if this thing works, it's just gonna pop up and it's gonna load up the, just like that. So we've got a new motion graphics template that fast, that easy guys. It's not gonna win any design awards, but that's the technique and the steps from front to back. That's it for now guys. I've got a lot more stuff coming up. Stay tuned, thanks for watching and I'll be back soon.